All right, guys, so I just um, downloaded off the Mickler website the uh, UV Pro, um, if I can pull it up here, show you what the file looks like, BF UV 17 Pro EN CPS version 1.2.4. Um, and we're going to see if we can program this radio that I got. Um, I'm assuming we probably can't do much with it. Okay, it's UV Pro, and that's on Mickler's website. So that's supposed to be for the 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 um, the Unicorn Radio, the. Uh, UV-17 Pro GPS that doesn't exist anywhere that I can find. Anyway. Um, so. Let's see. We're going to get in here and plug the radio in and see what happens. Alright, so the Bofang cord is quite hard to uh, plug in here. You kind of have to flex it a little bit to get it to go in. So let's just see if it'll even read the radio. Of course not. I knew that was going to happen. All right, let's close this out. Let's go into our settings. Port COM5. It doesn't give me any other port. So what that tells me is probably uh, it tells me probably there ain't no way this thing's going to work. Let's go ahead and close the software, and then we'll uh, reopen it. Why does this say UV-18 Pro? UV-17 Pro? Look at this. This is ridiculous. 18, 17, 19, 20... 21 and 22, but dude, I haven't seen any of those other radios. Well, anyway, okay, read. No indication the radio is doing anything. Failure. Try again. Okay. Settings. Cancel. This is what I expected, and this is why I probably will not keep this radio. Now, it thinks I'm on COM port 9. Which is ridiculous. It was 7, then it was 9. Okay. I'm going to close the software again, just because the laptop might have been confused, because I did have my phone plugged in. Then... It defaults to this UV-18 Pro. So the problem with this radio is that you're not going to get any support from anything else. So you have to have this software if you want to sit here and program this thing. And... And maybe it doesn't like this cable, but I don't have another cable. The other cable that I have is from about 2015. And Windows has graciously blocked the, uh, the driver chip in the cable. <clears throat> it worked fine for years. You would have to roll back the driver. It was really annoying. Let's take a look and see if there's something else going on here. We do the uh, device manager. Let's see if we have a detection of the device. Com ports. So USB serial, CH34, COM port 9. Everything looks fine. Okay. 
Just out of curiosity. Let's go open up Chirp. I really can't think of anything that might be close. Um, there's no radios that um, are on here. The one that I know it's a copy of isn't on here. It's the Sonocom or whatever. Look at this. So that, apparently that one's not supported either for the UVK5. I wonder. That was another radio I was looking at. Anyway, um, we'll go up here all the way to back up to the top. So you have um, the BF series. GT, UV, yeah, um, there, there's nothing on here that's going to work. I mean, I, I don't even know, hey, let's just try UV5R. We'll just see what it does. It says it's cloning. But, of course, you don't see the radio communicating, so we know it's not going to work. Yeah. So, um, it getting the software for this radio is probably impossible it's probably that same PUV 15 software um, the stuff off of Mickler doesn't work because it's actually for the radio that doesn't exist 